I think what you're seeing in the Japanese yen is that the Bank of Japan, the Ministry of Finance have you know, a history of failed interventions. We know it, they know it. The only time the intervention efforts truly work is when it's joint intervention with other G7 nations. And you know, they had that you know, G20 meeting, nothing came out of it. And I think overall, you know, they know they're not necessarily going to get the support of other central banks. So they haven't necessarily come into the market inside. There have been some signs of some stealth intervention. But I think overall, you know, when it comes to dollar yen, the market is anticipating intervention. And because the market really already anticipates intervention and they're positioned for it, I believe that um, when they do come into the market, they're just going, investors are just going to look at it as an opportunity to, um, to buy dollar yen on dips. And it's going to be ineffective again, which is why this has, uh, the Japanese government has, has been so quiet. Now, next week, we do have the Bank of Japan meeting. And what they really need to do is raise interest rates. Um, you know, between the weakness of the yen and the rise in bond yields, it's really testing that um, quarter percent ten-year yield cap. So they need to raise interest rates. Will they? You know, they're not um, expected to, but they could surprise because they're running out of options at this stage. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to ask you because if they just you know, up the YCC target, let's call it to a 50 pip band or even a 75 pip band, kept rates where they are, would that be sufficient? to really send a, a clear signal to the market and drive down the yen, or because of what we're seeing when it comes to the DEXI, that it's a little bit of too little too late? Well, I think that would be an unexpected move. Um, no one's really, you know, the market hasn't really priced that in. So certainly it's going to have a positive effect on the Japanese yen. But the dollar move is also getting tired, in my opinion. I think that Fed fund futures are pricing in 5% um, terminal rates already. And even though Fed officials have been, you know, quite um, aggressive in, in their rate hike plans, and they you know, take every opportunity to reinforce their plans to continue raising interest rates aggressively. I think it, you know, it would take a lot for rates to go above you know, five and a quarter, five and a half percent. So we're near the stage where you know, everyone who wants to be long dollars is pretty much long dollars. And I think there may not be the same type of momentum that we've seen sure. in the past in the dollar. So from that perspective, that could drive dollar in lower. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.